Hey Internet, I am designer John Phenom and in case you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel Designer Advice, uh, please subscribe. It's filled with over a hundred videos that focuses on everything about launching and having a fashion brand uh, uh, from marketing, sales, production, you name it, lots, lots of Q&A. And if you are already a subscriber on my YouTube channel, thanks for clicking on this one. The third thing I've kind of talked about before and all one of these three elements I could probably do uh, an entire I could talk about it for hours or do a full day-long workshop but the third thing moving backwards from uh, three to one is um, you've heard me say this but I think a lot of brands die of obscurity a lot of brands don't make it because not enough people have heard of them uh, so obviously what we're talking about is marketing and I've done a video on this before um, I am I have a thorough belief uh, especially with something like fashion that is very uh, trendy you need to be on top of it and on the edge of what is hot um, you need to continually be out there with marketing when you're selling a product that is an accessory uh, when you're selling a product that competes with um, millions of other brands that both have more money they have more power and connection and just more real estate space within the current market your marketing has to be razor edge so the good thing is if you're very 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 creative with thinking out of the box then this third point of what can kill a brand um, can be your strength you need a very thorough marketing program and a huge portion right now of that marketing program uh, should deal with digital marketing social media and how you attack all those outlets picking the ones that are correct for you uh, creating a program for each one of those so you can collect data and have a manageable plan that you can carry out in the long term. Not um, resting your hinges on a genius marketing director or marketing consultant, but having a multifaceted plan that really works in the long term and that you continually focus on and improve and make adjustments on. The second thing that I think kills a lot of new brands is lack of attention to the production schedule. This really harkens back to talking about your overall calendar, your delivery dates of product, and when you're showing product, um, if you're doing trade show, or however you do your drops and deliveries to either your retailer or your end consumer is very important. Everything begins with that, with your drops and deliveries. And so when you're marking out your calendar, it's very important to start with that when you think of your new year and keep making sure your deadlines are deadlines that no activity should happen after that. Should that happen that there's contingencies or you create buffer days in between. Because if you're a running clothing brand that has capitalization and that has a good flow, that has demand that is growing, uh, you have to know that you're going to change and move. It affects every single part of the clothing line from design conception to actual design work uh, to sales uh, to mass production and samples. PR, marketing, everything is affected by that calendar and that production schedule. If you're selling wholesale to a retailer and you mess up your delivery dates, it's the quickest way to end the relationship with a lot of uh, your big retail bases or to kill the relationship with distributors in other countries. They need to know that you're trustworthy and that your word is your bond in terms of delivering the goods um, at the time that you say you're going to deliver. That leads me to the number one thing that kills new brands or fashion brands or clothing lines. People do not budget well. Um, you know, capitalization or lack thereof ends up being the death of so many amazing revolutionary clothing brands that should have made it for five, ten years and really had the right elements of people when it comes to, um, say, sales and design. But if inside, logistically, uh, the person that is running the numbers inside of the business and the day-to-day -day operations isn't on point, would kill any business. There's a couple added layers that makes it really difficult because just with the first two points thrown into the mix of a, of a brand new startup business, there's so many moving parts that are going all at the same time that need eyes on them at, at, at all times or they need to be reevaluated monthly you know on a 12 month schedule just as an example when you do a production run the money that you put towards those garments um, in mass production especially if you don't have a relationship with your vendor where they can give you longer terms to pay means the money that you allocate towards that is going to be gone for 
let's just say more than half a year it could be anywhere from six months to eight months so the company needs to be able to survive without that capital which could be a huge chunk of capital for eight months just like a household doing their finances or a newlywed couple doing their finances together the lifeline of that company is the money and the day-to-day -day operations because you'll never reach bigger and better and and doing um, a huge fashion show or all, any whatever you imagine for marketing and design and being limitless none of that will be created if you simply cannot pay payroll once you lose the lease not paying people on time it's the quickest way to hit the brakes on your new clothing company or fashion line hope that helps I have videos that touch on all of these subjects in a lot of different ways please continue to like and comment on them thank you for clicking on this one we'll see you on the next one I love you all peace